Nah, nah, nah. I saw it on a video. You gotta like warm up your vocal cords. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we're still in lockdown, but we're sitting in the car because I'm just so tired of being inside. We're not going anywhere. But we're in the car and it's raining. So we really can't do anything. Can't even stand outside. And that's why we're sitting in the car. So sorry if you hear like the heavy rain. We're like outside, but still inside safe and dry. So it's a happy medium. Yeah. I just wanted to let you guys know that this video was filmed the first week of March, like before the lockdown. So that's why you're gonna see us at the gym a few times throughout the video, in case you're wondering. What made me wanna do this challenge is because I was having a lot of anxiety at the beginning of the week and I didn't know where I was coming from. So the day we started this challenge was literally like 30 minutes after I got the idea to do it. And pretty much I couldn't get the feeling like out of my chest. I wanted to just like run and run until like everything went away. And that's how I got the idea to do like five miles because I figured after five miles, like I'm just gonna be so tired that I'm not gonna be jittery like at all anymore. I came home from work and she's like, I wanna run. I'm like, okay, let's run. I like running, I like doing cardio stuff. And she's like, I wanna do five miles for the next week. I'm like, okay, like this is not what I was thinking. This is not even close to what I had in mind. Like, where do you even come up with this idea? She's like, I just thought of it. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about this one, so it, it kind of like scared me. It was like, I don't know if you're, I don't know. I didn't know she was serious, but she was serious. <laughs> uh, anyways, just watch. <laughs> I need some motivation to do a running thing. <laughs> and the second is... Jittery on the inside. Yeah, I've had a lot of anxiety lately. and I don't know where that's coming from because normally I don't have anxiety. I don't know if it's caffeine. I can't have caffeine at all. I just had green tea today. Which doesn't have a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, I can't have coffee. I found out this week that I can't have black tea either. I don't think I can have <laughs> green tea either. Your caffeine limitation is like dwindling away. Yeah. But anyways, I'm like just super jittery and I just can't get it out. So I want to run, I want to do a burpee, but I don't want to do a burpee if you know what I'm saying. So we're going to try running and I don't know if you're going to see this because I don't know if we're going to finish this. I might be totally sore tomorrow and I can't complete the rest of this. But yeah, why five miles? I don't know. <laughs> This is not normal. This is not normal at all. This is a spur of the moment thing. Spur of the Just moment. Just decided this like 20 minutes ago. And it's gonna be a week Now it's long. happening. <laughs> the, the hardest part is just starting, so we just gotta go. We gotta go walk across the street because we did, there wasn't parking. Well, we also don't want to pay. Yeah, that's <laughs> Pay to run. Like, what do we need to pay to run for? <laughs> anywho. Any, anywho. <laughs> Wish me luck. Wish, no, you don't need to wish him luck. Wish me luck He's, too. You're fine with running. <laughs> no. <laughs> By the way, I say running, but it might be like a like a um, an overachieving jog. <laughs> <laughs> no, overachieving. There's one foot in front of the other. That's all it really means. That's all that matters. That's though. all it counts. Okay, let's go. Brennan said that's the president, but I don't believe him. <laughs> you don't have to believe me, I'm just making up stuff on the spot. He said when it's three that it's You're the so president. You're so close. <laughs> yeah, normally when it's the president they like fly in three, but I mean, what, what do I know? Okay, mile number one is not going very well. Day one, mile one, whatever. <laughs> we have to walk a whole mile to get here. And I'm already tired. Seven miles. Oh, One seventeen. One hour. One seventeen. 
Damn it! <laughs> you know, honestly, it feels pretty good. Like, like it doesn't feel like we actually did five miles right now. Oh, yeah. I know. Well, today is day one, <laughs> and it feels good. <laughs> Look at how tangly my hair got from the wind. Look at that. Good morning. Good morning. Unless it's night or something for you. It's pretty early. It's like... It's like 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. I don't know if that's early. It's early for me. Early for me to run. Yeah. But yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do today. So we came to the gym today. And I know I said we were running. But I think today we might just do like the elliptical. Because my knee mm. is actually... I'm sad. Pretty, uh, pretty messed up from yesterday. Not messed up, but like sharp shooting pains. I get that a lot. Like anytime I go to Disneyland or whatever, mm -hmm. I get pains in my legs. So I think today we're going to do that to avoid messing them up anymore. And yeah, we don't want to get worse. <laughs> yeah, and then maybe tomorrow I'll go back to actual running. So yeah. that's what's happening right now. But already feeling sore. So. Yeah, my legs are really sore everywhere. Here we go, day two. The sky looks really cool from this angle. It does? <gasps> That's a cool sky. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so quick explanation, I guess. Ugh. Oh, I'd have to hiccup or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. Yeah. I can't even hold my we arm We ran up. a lot of miles, okay? I did do five miles, but my time thing said two and a half because at two and a half miles, I went to pick up my phone to tell you guys that we were halfway and my machine, like I accidentally clicked a button while grabbing my phone and the machine like hit like a different setting. So I tried clicking it again to hit it back and it just froze everything and then it shut off. They're terrible machines. And then I had a little bit of a tantrum. <laughs> well, they're just bad machines, but... Yeah, honestly, we were going to use a different machine today, but uh, the machine that I like better normally stops randomly all the time, which is really annoying, and I wanted like a consistent time to literally like show five miles. So we went on this one, and it did the same thing, so that was really annoying, yeah. but but I uh, I wrote down the last time calories and distance that I saw on there and I recorded the end of it and we took his time so right here <laughs> basically I'll put like my time and calories and stuff after I add it up at home I don't want to add it up right now okay yesterday I showed you my hair after running with it down so I tried to braid today but I'm dealing with the same problem it just all matted up so <laughs> braids are out too I guess <laughs> Hello, little caterpillar. You're so little and caterpillary. Just a little fluffy guy. Day number three. Okay, we're stepping it up. One notch, maybe two. Look at this. You're going backwards now. <laughs> Damn, just the spring has to <laughs> So we started. All over there. <laughs> and we're only halfway. <laughs> we're at 250. So Jazzy, she has to run on the side of the rock pile because she gets claustrophobic. She needs the openness, the space. Look at how much room we got. We got lots of room. Okay, five miles and 118. Took us a little longer today because my legs are just so sore that it hurt to move. Like the first mile and a half, the first mile was like 10 seconds of running and then 10 seconds of walking and then 12 seconds of running. Yeah. Then well, five seconds of walking. The hard part with today is that all of our muscles and then even our joints, like my ankles, my feet are hurting. Today, if you're sore, sometimes the hardest thing is to just like push through it until you're not sore anymore. And after like a mile and a half, the soreness went away. So, yeah, remember that. Little caterpillar, what are you doing? <laughs> you made it all the way over here. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Because uh, it's just a street. Oh, 
he's so cute. He's really fast. Where are you going? So apparently it cuts you off at like an hour. So here it is. Okay, so this might be a little confusing, but the treadmill's time limit is one hour. So we had to stop the whole thing and restart, and that's why you see us clicking so many buttons. It's annoying. Yeah. I had point four more to go. There. If she looks dead, it's because she is. <laughs> Anywho. Anywho. I went really hard. Yeah. Shaved off like a whole mile. Like she could have done a whole nother mile in the same time as yesterday. Yeah. I shaved off 12 minutes. 12, right? No, 12 minutes. Well, 12 minutes from the first day. We did 117. Well, that was the best time that we had. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't count the elliptical. For some reason, I have this big spot right here in the middle of my face. What's that all about? Do you see it? Oh my gosh, yeah. going so fast right now. Do you see this? It's so fast. There was no day seven at the end of the video. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. On day seven, I woke up with a pretty bad sore throat and I didn't want to go to the gym and go spread my germs or go get anybody sick. Like I said, we started doing this video like a week before lockdown. So things were getting pretty serious as it was and I already don't want to spread my germs, but like right now it's like seriously not the time to be spreading germs and nobody wants germs and <laughs> yeah. <Turns. laughs> the other option was to run outside where we've been running, but it was raining that day and it was actually raining a lot throughout the whole week. And it's still raining now. But yeah, it was raining and that's that's like the reason that we even started going to the gym towards the end of the week anyways, because it kept raining. So yeah, I really didn't want to not finish this challenge, but I also didn't want to just be selfish and go get somebody sick just because I wanted to finish a video. And it's probably a good thing that I didn't go to the gym anyways on the last day because I ended up getting pretty sick for a while. Yeah, and I'm still not even fully better. Like, that's why it took so long to get this video out and like why it's taking so long to even like film this piece. Oh. Yeah, I'll sit like you too. Okay. All right. One more thing. Hold on, I'm trying to get comfy. It doesn't matter, you're not talking anyways. <laughs> look at My this, hair is look at this really... fine piece of beauty. Anyways, like <laughs> I was saying, what the heck am I even trying to say right now? I could just spin you on my finger. This huh? is like what really goes on in real life. Like before I cut this stuff out, this is why it takes me so long. So to much do this. energy. I'm you just... have a long hair in your cheek. <laughs> but yeah, that being said, the reason I wanted to do this video in the first place is because I was having anxiety. And actually, by like day, I think like three, four, I'm halfway, like it was like all gone and it felt better and then it was just tired <laughs> so it worked so i feel like this was like successful then pretty much because i got rid of the anxiety feeling and that's the whole reason i wanted to do this in the first place so it worked out really cool we definitely were able to free the mind of anxiety and we moved that into like muscle pain our muscles <laughs> yeah, were so sore like yeah, like just walking sore. around and like even like going the next day it was like i don't know if i could move this definitely was not easy it was really tough especially like five miles 
This lady is crazy, okay? <laughs> it definitely wasn't easy, but it was really fun. Like, it was good, especially doing it together as a couple made it, like, really enjoyable. It made five miles not seem like five miles. It just kind of seemed like we're just, like, hanging out and, like, just doing something well, together. Well, it didn't feel like <clears throat> not five miles, but it didn't feel, like, bad. But I definitely think one mile is going to feel so easy now after doing this. <laughs> okay, so after doing this, I lost a total of two pounds. <laughs> Oh, that? <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I lost the two pounds on day one, and then the rest of the week, I didn't lose anything else. And I'm not complaining. Like, it's not healthy to lose more than two a week anyways. So I'm not complaining. I'm happy about it. Uh, and I do gain muscle pretty quick, so... Yes, really quick. I at least, like, felt a lot, like, more in shape at the end of this. So I think that's, like, the more important part. Yeah, we weren't running at all before this. Like, nothing, like, led up to this challenge, but definitely after it, felt a lot better, like, cardio-wise. <clears throat> I think for me, uh, okay, <laughs> for me, I don't, I don't know what I lost. His weight is crazy. He lost, like, three pounds the first day, and then he ate and gained back, like, yeah, I two, and then he'll, like, lose three more the next day, but then he'll gain, like, five back from eating, but then he, like, loses it. The next day. And yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So. <laughs> yeah, I really fluctuate my weight like pretty like drastic. Like per day. <laughs> uh, yeah, on a daily basis. I did lose weight though. Like I think I lost maybe like four pounds or something like that. But it definitely woke up some muscles that I wasn't using before. So who cares if you weigh less or who yeah, cares it, if you weigh more but feel more, better? Yeah, it's yeah. more how you feel, I think. Yeah. So if you're trying to lose weight, don't pay attention to the number. The number, like pay more attention to like how you feel because I definitely saw better results than on like the scale. So like that's like what's more important. Like you can get distracted by the scale. So don't pay too much attention to the scale. But if you want to do this challenge, then you can. Like if I was able to do it, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't let your mind get like in the way of like like starting something. You know, I think a lot of people like say that I'm gonna start this on Monday and then Monday comes and it's like, I'm just not feeling it. So I'm gonna start next Monday. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's like one of my biggest pet peeves. Don't let that offend you if that's <laughs> you, but use that. Like if you're gonna like talk about it, like then just do it. Just put it into action. And like, if you say you're gonna do it, like just start now. Like you don't have to start on Sunday or Monday. Like just start on like Thursday and start Thursday midday. Like don't worry about like waiting for a deadline. If you keep waiting for your deadline, it's just not gonna happen. Like just pick it up and just, do over there just like continue when you can and like just like keep picking it back up and i think that's like the most important thing and yeah you're probably tired of listening to me talk now <laughs> anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video